previously on Children's Hospital. I'm the only doctor in this hospital that's qualified to do this procedure. And today that puts me at a real disadvantage. I cured cancer, you dick. Huh? Mom, I did it. I cured cancer. Great. Now maybe you can visit me sometime. Mom, I'm right here. Just a little friendly reminder, Dr. Ritchie. Stop trying to cure cancer. Oh, God, I just wish you'd become a doctor like your brother. I am a doctor. We all have a job to do. Some people dig holes, some people teach, some even go to the moon. And none are more important than the other, except for doctors. You'll notice that most young patients respond to almost any situation with one of two phrases, hot dog or mamma mia. Watch this. Hey, I got news for you. You're going home tomorrow. Hot dog! Because we don't know what's wrong with you and you're going to die. Mamma mia! I got a 10-year-old down! What do we got? Kid works at a knife factory after school. Boss says he's all thumbs. Hey, Owen, uh, it turns out that Blake here never went to medical school. We're just going to add him to your interns today. Call it even. Fine. Welcome to the team. Blood pressure, 50 over 80. White blood cell count elevated. Slight fever. What's the call? Too soon to tell. God, you are good. Look, I don't want to interrupt here, and you're one of our best, but isn't this clearly a knife wound? Hey! Suit, you stay out of my way. The knife is just a small piece of the puzzle. We gotta figure out what's really wrong with this kid. Nidhi, am I pronouncing that correctly? It's Nidhi. I do not care. I need you to interview everyone he's come in contact with in the last 40 days. Go to his school. So what you're telling me is that outside of being punctured by a large knife, Noah's had no unusual symptoms. Go to the knife factory. So what you're telling me is that he walked out of here with no sign of anything wrong at all. No, I'm telling you, he had a huge knife in his stomach. Go to his mother's hairstylist. So what you're telling me is it'll cost more to get highlights than it will to dye all my hair. Blake, I want you to get down to the library, get on the internet, find out everything you can about young boys. I know just where to go. Oh. <sighs> Park! Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. I want you with this kid night and day. I think he's only got three days to live tops. I'm gonna need four. You got it, mister. Shit! This is your big moment, buddy. I'm on it! Excuse me, aren't we just gonna take the knife out? Hey! You did not go to medical school! No. And until you do, you will take a chill pill! Now everybody know your assignments? Get it in here. Children's Hospital on three. One, two, three. Children's <laughs> Hospital! like worker bees here each of us running around bringing honey from one place to another never really knowing what the others are thinking or feeling or dreaming a hospital really is like a beehive i'd say a hospital is more like a prison beehive is more poetic mm, he's cute no way he's gross do you have to disagree with everything i say wait can you hear my thoughts yeah what an amazing gift. It's awful, actually. I can hear all the horrible things people think of me. Jeez, what a whiner. Oops. I heard you speak, but I couldn't believe. Now it's You've been here this whole time? I've been spending many hours in this hospital, Dr. Ritchie. How do you know my name? I know a great many things. For example, I understand that you've discovered a cure for a certain heretofore uncurable disease. Incurable. No such word as uncurable. Who are you anyway? I represent an organization that has a special request. Drop the cancer cure. Or else.
Wait, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What? This information is no good. Don't make me let this kid die. Hey, bet you guys 50 bucks I can guess your weight. I'll bet you 50 bucks you can't. Yeah, what's up with that, Valerie? 170. She got that right on the nose. The other here can read minds, everybody. So, what are we all thinking right now? Frank Birders, the Almond Brothers, Death, also Frank Birders. Fascinating. You have got a gift, young lady. <laughs> Would it kill you to make a decent cup of coffee? What a whiner. I know, right? Wait. All right. Listen, I've got a patient I need you to meet. Come on. I get the sense that I'm not quite getting through to you, Dr. Ritchie. No, 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 I heard you. You said something about stopping my research. Or else. Right, and then you said or else, right. Yeah, but I didn't say it like that. Or else. I said it menacingly. Well, I mean, if I'm being honest, it didn't sound very menacing. That's because you weren't paying attention. What did you say? I'm so sorry. I said you weren't paying attention to me. You were I wasn't. With your keyboard. I'm guilty. Guilty, Your Honor. <laughs> now, do you think you can read the mind of someone who's been in a coma for about 40 years? I'll give it a try, but it sounds boring. All right, now, listen. Only you can get the information from him, and only he can fill in the blanks. Go get him, killer. confusing for you, but you've been in a coma for 40 years. I'm not really here. I'm communicating with you via mental telepathy. Wow. So many questions. <laughs> hey, did they ever finish building that World Trade Center in New York? Well, yes. Hot dog! But... How do you think it's going in there? Mamma mia! Those pricks. One more random thing. How did that Challenger flight go? Yeah... So they want me to ask you some questions. Right. Is Edna your primary carrier, or are you being covered by another plan? Gee whiz, you know, I really don't know you. I probably... I mean, do you have any other conditions? 